That's right, friends. We're going to learn how to do the crazy expando drawing. You're going to need a big piece of paper. You are going to fold it in half. The easiest way to fold something in half is match up corners and then push your finger down the middle and slide your fingers to the left, to the right. Then you're going to want to fold up that top part. Again, match the corners, find the middle, boink, and then slide your fingers to the left and right and you've got a really fabulous crease. I'm going to show you with a sharpie. You guys are going to start your drawings with a pencil and you can see what's going to happen is a drawing is going to go on the top and we are going to be able to expand it. So here I am with a sharpie. I'm going to draw a super quick, quick not so awesome fish. This fish looks really innocent and you can see I'm kind of going over where the fold is. Easy fish, no problem. But wait, it can expand. When I expand the fish, that's where the fun part begins. And I need to start my drawing from where I left off. It looks like a normal fish, but really, it's a super giant, crazy, tooth having fish. What is going in that fish's mouth? Well, Another little fish, of course. Maybe that fish is smart enough to know to swim away. So I'm going to draw some crazy teeth, another little fish. I want to make sure, though, to connect the parts of my drawing. So I need to connect the tail parts. There we go. Now it looks like a super giant crazy fish. No, it's not crazy. It's normal. I'm going to make it look super normal and sweet. I'll put an eye on the outside. You know, I could put some uh, an eyebrow. Maybe it's a girl fish, a little innocent, sweet girl fish with a bow. And you would never guess, looking at her, let's see, she needs a fin. Somehow she's got to be swimming around. You'd never guess, looking at her, that inside this fish is, wah, expando fish. What other things can you expand? Hmm. So while you do need to do this drawing, you don't have to do a fish. You might have another idea. In fact, I had an idea for a crazy sandwich. So I got another piece of paper. You'll only get one today. I folded that piece of paper in half and then I lifted that top flap up and matched it to the top, folding it in half. And I decided to draw a crazy hamburger. I've got the bun up on top, and maybe that's a, I don't know, a big thick piece of cheese. I want to make sure, though, that parts of my hamburger go from the top flap to the bottom flap. And let's see, maybe that's some um, lettuce. I could color it in later with some markers. Put it on a plate. But I want to make sure that it connects from the middle down the inside. What crazy things could I put in my sandwich? Well, a tuna fish, of course, and maybe a pencil and a hairy eyeball, maybe a Harry Potter wand or, you know, a quiz I got a really good grade on. Who knows what goes in my hamburger, but it looks pretty crazy when I expand it. Just a few reminders, friends, that'll help make this easier. Make sure when you start to work to fold your paper first. Then you're going to start with a pencil. You can add color with marker on top after you do your pencil marks. And then make sure you add a lot of awesome background details. Have fun guys, see you later.